What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Mo. Today we will be reacting to some TikTok live chats. I don't, I can't test if they work, and I probably wouldn't. So let's get into it. That's what you should do. Subscribe, but not to him, to me. The snap of your fingers is not this. Your finger hitting the palm of your hand. You take your palm away, nothing happens. I saw this thing on TikTok. So basically, when you're at a hotel, there's like money in the Bibles. No, it is your thing. Like it is your finger snapping together. Dollars better, but there's like so much. Look at all this. Overusing chocolate toothpaste actually makes your teeth more yellow. Which is yes, it's what. Chocolate toothpaste isn't actually whitening the color of your teeth. Instead, chocolate toothpaste contains abrasives that remove stain layers, and much like sandpaper, it also removes the outer layer of the teeth when overused. So if you overuse chocolate toothpaste, you're going to more enamel. This gets you closer to the next layer of the teeth called dentin. The dentin layer of your teeth is more yellow than enamel. So the closer you get to the dentin, the more yellow your teeth will appear in color. Save the turtle and save your enamel. These are life hacks that will actually be useful in your life. If you have a warm drink and you need it to be cold really fast, do this trick. Get a wet paper towel and put it around your drink and then put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. The wetness of that paper towel is going to help make your drink cold. The yellow light stays on depending on the first number of the speed limit you're in. For example, if you're in a speed limit zone of 45, the yellow light is only going to stay on for 4 seconds. If you're in a 35 speed limit zone, then it'll only stay on for 3 seconds. If you need to charge your phone as fast as possible, turn on airplane mode while it's charging. This will make it go up much faster. Like if you found this helpful. Uh huh. What? Well, how do you reset it back to normal? Oh, this is smart.
I don't know what that did, but okay. <clears throat> Let's take it all. Yep. I don't know what this does. This is more like a five minute craft thing. Yeah, we all know this is cap, it's just their insane luck. This is not no life hack. Okay. Let's continue. Yeah, we already saw this. How to have the best schedule in college. Let's get into it. So in my opinion, a schedule can make or break your semester. Last semester, my schedule almost broke me. And this semester, this college schedule is really making my life a lot easier. So the first thing I did was not talk to my faculty advisor ever again, because he advised me to take three really difficult intro-level bios all at once. So that was great. Don't do that. Contact someone who works directly in your department, either a grad student, a TA, an upperclassman, or someone who actually is a head of the department that you want to major in. Number two, diversify your schedule. Do not take three bios. Take a humanities, take a math, take a chem, take a bio, but diversify it so all your classes don't blur together and then you get really, really mentally exhausted because that sucks. Number three, start your classes late. My earliest class is at 10 a.m. and I'm thriving. Number two, 
get a schedule that is kind of perfect for you. So basically something I like to do is start really late on Mondays at 12, and then I have one class Monday, one class Wednesday, and one class Friday, and one class Sunday, and then I have four classes Tuesday, Thursday, and my schedule is off. Awesome. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. This is a very short video. I almost started doing a couple of very short videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.